Hi guys, thanks for doing this small tarot. Yes, I'm by my fish tank. Yes, I'm doing a reading by my fish tank. My lovely fiance came up with the idea. He said, you might as well. I said, you know what? I might as well. So let's get a reading out, okay? This is just gonna be a collective reading, you guys. Not gonna be anything. Um, come as you are, darling, okay? I always say that. Every sign, come as you are. Don't have to be a specific sign. You can have anything anywhere in your chart. It doesn't matter, honey. If you clicked on to the message, there might be something here for you. Please understand this will not resonate with every single person. If you read the intro, you'd know. But, um, yes, we got Tiger. We got Ghost. Ghost is right here. We got McQueen. And back there, we got Stripes. And right here, we have Shark. Baby Shark. We, damn it, my, my, my little phoenix named him that. So, <laughs> my three-year-old, she called him Baby Shark. And over there, um, who's that? Yeah, I got two big fish there. That he, look, my goldfish. He, he runs every time I point. It's just crazy. Oh, yeah. That's mine. Yep, that's them. I got, big, I got two big goldfish in this tank, you guys. And they stay. They love hiding out. They sometimes come out during the day. Look, he keeps peeking in and out. He's right over there if you see him in that log. Anyway, so I like to let you know I have my little fish friends here. The water might be loud for you, okay? But it's not for me. It's therapeutic for me. I did that on purpose because I wanted it to be loud. All right. So let's see what you got going on for the collect spare. Thank you. Okay. Um, jackpot. Jackpot. Y'all got, y'all, some of you might be coming into some damn money. Some of you might be coming into some damn money, okay? <clears throat> Maybe there's an inheritance. Or something that was left behind you had no freaking clue about. Maybe somebody's hiding this from you. Or maybe somebody's seeing that you are the winner. <laughs> Somebody might have had you in competition, okay? And you see that they hit the jackpot. Somebody's fed up with hearing about it, though. They hear other people talk about it. They see you winning, okay? Maybe somebody was in competition with you and you are the winner. You, would, you probably don't even know it, Collective. You weren't playing this game, but somebody... Yeah. Somebody else is playing. <laughs> yeah, nightmares. Someone's having nightmares, okay? Paralysis, insomnia. Paranoia. Paranoia. Anxiety. Unable to sleep. Sees things under, see things under eye bags. Oh, see things. It has under eye bags. I couldn't read that. Always partying. Somebody stays up to the morning, noon, and night. Whatever they do, they just continue to party. That's one thing that they're good at. Somebody cannot help themselves, y'all. They they don't fucked up. This is always like the energy, isn't it? It's a, we are in retrograde, okay? So, damn. Mm -mm. Queen, him and Ghost be chasing each other all the time. I know people say it's not good to tap on their tank. It is for me. So shut the hell up. Don't start waiting. Somebody's waiting for you to come back. You know, I channel, I was hearing that song, One in a Million, earlier by um, Aaliyah, you guys. If you don't know that song, it's called One in a Million by Aaliyah. It is kind of an old song, but I'm telling you, not kind of. It is old. But I'm telling you, somebody sees that now. Somebody tries to fake. Somebody, okay. Somebody sees that they have the jackpot right in front of their face. The love of their life. Now they're having nightmares about it. Sleep paralysis. I don't know why I'm hearing sleep paralysis. And then we also have always partying. So they always party, babe. They always party all the time, waiting for you to come back. They're just waiting. They're waiting for you to reappear. Somebody tries to somebody tries to, to deal with, do the nightlife quite often. They might be posting it to uh, certain um, social media platforms and things like that. Yeah, low IQ. Somebody's actually letting their eye. They, somebody's actually they're they're not intelligent. I, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not trying to be mean, but that that card came out. They 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 um. <laughs> you were right in front of them. I mean, I would say something is not there. Something's not clicking. You were right in front of this person. They didn't see it then, but they've definitely seen it now. I think they're hearing from other people. They're hearing something from other people. Yeah, Queen Rising. Queen or King rising, my dear collective. Yes, they're having nightmares about this. You rising above them or something? You doing better than them? I just I don't, I don't get it. They fear this. This scares the shit out of them. 
okay? Maybe you are the light. You are the light, and this person took the light away from you or tried to dim your light to make themselves look brighter, and it didn't work. People might have already saw the low IQ before you did and tried to tell you. Look, man, your girl, you do the slow. And what I mean by slow is they don't think right. They do stupid shit. They're not treating you right. This is what's happening. You're not seeing this. Like, they'll probably know that you would treat this person great. They didn't know that they had a queen or king rising in front of their face. Jackpot. Okay. Hmm. Karmic friends. Karmic friends. You bossed up on some of these friends here. This could be a friend, family member, whoever it is. You bossed up on them and they're waiting on you. <laughs> You run your own business. You stable. You busy. You multitasking and every damn thing. You don't have to be owning your own business. You could be working somewhere where you get very much outstanding compliments from the boss. That you are a boss. Shit. Yeah. They're reaching out for you. They want you back. This this just started hitting. Hitting heavy. Yeah. They see people giving you praise. They see and they hear about it. Okay. Maybe you're an icon. Maybe you stand out. Maybe people are trying to follow the beat to your drum, okay? I'm not joking. I'm serious. And now they want you back. Always partying and shit. Let me tell y'all something about that partying and shit, okay? That's a thing. That that That's a good old cover-up if you want to do that. But when you snorting, drinking, whatever the hell this person's doing, before they even do it, you're on their mind. After they come down from that damn high or whatever, that liquid courage, you still there. Ain't nothing... It's a no wonder this is what's going on. This low IQ energy. They don't think. They don't know you don't disappear. You don't go nowhere. They don't know that you're still in. Uh, they ain't made it. They ain't connected the dots. I think they're going to overdo this. They need to calm down. Somebody here needs to calm down on this. Confused. Confused. They're confused as to how you get to where you're at right now. How did you start being a boss? How did you rise up? Okay. They waiting on you. Somebody's in disbelief that you even would just stop dealing with them. They, they don't believe it. They felt they were the jackpot. Uh, Jack lied, motherfucker, okay? <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. Spirit, what we got here? Okay. Uninterested. A lot of you are uninterested in this person. And I'm also hearing that this person has people rubbing up against them and every kind of thing, every which way. They don't want this other people. They want you. There's that one in a million energy I'm talking about. This is nobody that compares to you. This person will be sitting there acting like they're having the greatest time or they might be in new connections and things like that. They're not having a good time. They're uninterested. They want to make you an offer. You could be in a, uninterested in this offer. Okay, they're waiting for you to accept it. Some of you have a DM right now that you have not even noticed or know about that's in your right there in, sitting in your message inbox. It's an email or a text. And you skipped across it. You skipped it or something. And, um, you know what? They haven't eaten. I don't know. I just said skipped it. Sitting right in the DM or something, y'all. Oh. Um, that made me think about it. Um, and you don't notice it. You don't notice it. Something might be sitting right now. Just check if y'all are in, inclined to. Yeah, someone's definitely lonely here. Someone's definitely lonely. They sit in the dark. They think about you, okay? There's all kinds of stuff this person's doing. They just don't even understand exactly why they're... Why are you so... Why are you so gifted? Why are you so... Why is everybody giving you attention? Well, because, my love, you don't have to... Be, you don't have to go out there and seek it. It just comes to you. Like I said, you might have... You might have a lot of light in you, okay? A, a lot of good, supportive... Energy, kind energy, loving energy, okay, very kind, very supportive, I feel here. And you just, you, you, people gravitate towards that. They gravitate towards it. There's my goldfish, look at him, with his big head ass. Now I start talking about it, he gonna run off. Mm, anyway. There, two more. Yeah. Okay, creeping, got creeping, damn, that eye is creepy, clout hungry, says anything, does anything, makes shit up, they're dramatic, somebody just sits here and they make up a bunch of lies, 
okay? They make up a bunch of lies. I don't think it's just about you. I think it's just about maybe they see how people are gravitating towards you and they don't like it. Oh, guys, sorry. My mic is a little closer to me, so if it's loud, guys, I'm sorry. Sorry about that, loves. Okay, ego. This... You bruised somebody's ego here. Yeah. And they hear about you being successful and you being in the limelight. You're not trying to be in that energy. I don't feel that you're trying to do it on purpose. But they feel you're overshadowing them. They don't like it. You bossing up. This might be some karmic friends, an ex, whoever the hell it is. Okay? They want you back. It could even be friends, you guys. Family. Okay? It could be any of those things. But they want you back. I'm tired of late, late as usual. He's always late to get food. It always goes down. Okay. Let me see here. Oh. Spirit, what's going on here? Oh. Somebody's, uh, somebody's like, I don't... How, what, who, does, who the hell do you think you are? That's why I hear and everybody trying to make these offers at them or these other options that they had, they're like pebbles in a pond. They are nothing compared to you. Someone wants to make you an offer. Someone wants to go out and have drinks because they're confused. They want to sit down and they want to have a talk. Why I feel like this person, the, the talk is going to be recorded. Y'all be careful. There's going to be a conversation that someone wants to have with you and they're going to record it behind your back. I have to be honest. Some of you, not all. That's very few of you, maybe. I don't, I wouldn't trust the motherfucker anyway. That's just me. But I'm, somebody just wants clout. They're clout hungry and they want to hear you beg and mar, and, 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 and there's another word for that. Grovel for them or something. It's something weird. And so they can show everybody. I was getting this weird energy earlier with uh, Taurus's reading. If you guys haven't watched it, I was getting this weird energy where I felt like somebody's just going to blackmail some, what was that? Yeah, STDs. Like somebody's gonna actually somebody actually has it in their freaking skull to try to blackmail someone to be with them. And if you don't be with this person, they're gonna go around saying you have something or I don't know. It was weird, but this I feel like a recording. Someone's gonna give this person an idea because they're not smart enough to come up with it by themselves. I don't know. Somebody just they want clout. They want the clout you have. Okay, but the, you could be an idol. You could have your own type of thing going on. You're doing very good. You're, you're like a boss. You probably are your own boss, literally. Somebody's not ready to reveal their true feelings to you yet, but their secret admirer is a top secret. They're not telling anybody, but I think there's a group of people here that kind of want to just set you up to laugh. Because you hurt someone's ego here. They're confused on how you're able to gravitate good people towards you the light towards you no you're not gravitating light towards you you are the light they just don't get it they're confused they're confused what do we got going on here spirit somebody definitely cannot sleep y'all somebody definitely cannot sleep oh wow okay Somebody wants you to come in and fight for them. They want you to fight for them just because for the simple fact they feel shattered, okay? They feel broken and they feel jealous of you getting attention elsewhere. So they feel that when they don't fight with you or when there's no type of arguments that you just don't care about them. This person's a chaotic individual. And now that you're not fighting, to, fighting with them or taking their offer or coming to make them an offer, their ego's bruised by this. They're shattered. They're jealous. They want to start fights. They feel that when you don't fight with them, that there's a situation. There's something wrong with it. This person's going to forever be chaotic if they see life this way. If they see relationships this way or having to be with someone, okay? They worry when you don't fight with them. Damn, that's crazy. Somebody feel that they can't stop thinking about. They just want to come in like kind of come like fight. Somebody wants to like destroy something here for you because they're upset. Yeah, you see the snake down this woman's chest, coming down her neck. 
a lot of snake energy, a lot of gossip going on here. Oh, it says it kills me that it kills me knowing that there could be someone else in your life. They're jealous. They're jealous of you just getting attention. But what's funny to me is what they're what are they jealous for when they act like they have the snake ass behavior? They play with snakes because they are one themselves. No, not guys. My sister has a big old head, huge ass fucking snake. She owns one. I don't mean you're a snake because you have snakes. I'm talking about this motherfucker here. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Well, uh, damn. Spirit, what's in the future going on with this situation? Some way, some shape, or form. What's going to happen here? First card at the bottom of the deck, we got heartbreak. Somebody's just going to keep themselves in heartbreak over this. Unless you want to just dim your light again for someone here. That's what I feel. If you just quiet yourself down and water yourself down and sit down and, de and be quiet, be silent, don't say anything, then they'll feel better. Okay? Then they feel like they want to fight here or battle or something. They won't feel so shattered. Their ego won't be shattered. I don't know, you guys. This is weird. Someone's trying to find you and they cannot find you. Some of you have deleted social media, period, and they're looking for you. Yes. The word, the, the, this card, yes, came out. That's the future. Things in your future look good with this yes card. Spirit, what else? Incoming love. Yes, you're going to have new love. Someone's going to be very jealous of that, though. It's going to bruise their ego. <laughs> as soon as I say it's going to bruise their ego, <laughs> the ego card comes out. Oh, man, this incoming love, you guys, is going to have somebody all up in their head. They're going to feel so damn sh they're gonna Their ego is going to be, like, stepped on. They're going to be like, whoa, really? Somebody here actually thinks you're going to be faking this incoming love that's going to come into your life if it's not already here. Yes, you'll have new love in this future coming up here. But someone's ego is going to be shattered by it. They're going to sit there like, you know, they're going to be very jealous of it. But they're also going to like want to try to start some type of fight here. They don't like the attention you get. Someone just doesn't like you talking to anybody. They've been waiting on you. Mm -mm. You're being praised and everything else. They don't like it. Yeah, well, in the future, there's some exciting news that's incoming. It's going to be exciting. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. This person is just going to have to have several seats, you guys. I'm sorry. Like I said, ooh. We got yes and no that came out. Are you going to have a bright, loving future with some new love? I feel like for many of you, the answer is yes. Is it going to bruise somebody's ego? Yes. Is there going to be incoming, exciting news? Yes. Is it going to be about your ex? I think not. <laughs> That's just what I think. I think somebody here is just way too jealous. They're way too jealous. Spirit, what's this no? What's this no? Look, clinging. Spirit's like, no. <laughs> no. Look at the possibilities ahead. Shine bright, shining star. Yeah. Are you willing to water yourself down for someone else to feel good here? Because that's what you're going to have to do if you're dealing with this specific situation here. Yeah, though they do want to reconcile, okay? I think it's going to be at a time where you're just peaceful, all right? You're celebrating, okay? Having good times with friends, family, and new people around you. And here they are going to come in and sidetrack you, okay? Like you, the, you, like your phone might get your attention while you're driving, and it shouldn't, okay? You should try to be off your phone while you're driving. Someone's going to sidetrack you while you're doing good just to communicate. They want to communicate with you. But Spirit's saying reconsider. Yeah reconsider okay curiosity open the unknown yeah make you might it might want to make you open up the situation up again to see if it's changed but guess what it's just going to be some somebody trying to put pain on you okay because they're lonesome they're lonely and that big old huge wall of ego they built they've built up walls around them to where people cannot touch or get near them okay and they put themselves here all right this was a blessing in disguise. The situation happening the way it did. Many of you may not see that, but that's exactly what I'm seeing here. Um, let's 
gonna taste it. I love Oracle. I mix this Oracles up together. And what's the tea Oracle? I have, I have, I don't know, I have like about maybe five what's the tea Oracles, but they're all different. Here, what's going on here? What's this yes card spirit for my collective? What's the yes card here for the collective spirit? Oh, too much. <laughs> We have new love. This new love that you have coming in is going to give somebody big time anxiety. I'm clarifying the yes card. This may even lead to a proposal. Okay. This might lead into a proposal. But a text is going to change your life. There's this incoming exciting news here. Something's going to change your life. It's going to change. It's going to transform you. Maybe right now a lot of you care too much of what people think about you. And these are karmic individuals. They're not for your higher, highest good. They're not. That's not what they're there for. Oh, damn. Then we also have proposal. Some of you might be getting proposed to. You might have exciting news. Maybe I'm busting the, busting the gift here for you. Open, opening up a gift prematurely for you. But some of you, very few of you, may be getting a proposal. And this is gonna this is gonna piss somebody off because they're still clinging to you. They think they're a mystery, but really they're not. They're getting rejected. Somebody that's trying to be mysterious or something here. Okay, they're trying a little too hard to be mysterious, but you can see right through this person. There's a faded meeting coming. You're gonna meet someone new. There's new love here. If you have not already, it's all divine intervention. Spirit, burn down the old shit so you can build a new place. Like I said, somebody gonna put a brick when you put a then you gonna put a brick and then they're gonna put a donut and they're gonna keep adding in stuff that's not gonna stay. It ain't gonna stay above. Did I say that earlier? That's what I was telling telling, telling my to my daughter. I said it's very hard, my son, my daughter, for you to build something off off a faulty foundation. I use those in, those terms quite often with her, and she like really my sixteen year old, and she she really hears it. She really hears it. When I speak to her and I give those kind of terms, it makes her understand it better. Instead of coming from a boring spot part of it, I know she loves donuts. I know she loves candy. She also likes broccoli and cheese, too, so I can add in things like that. Stuff she loves. Stuff, you know, she add her phone in a lot because she loves her fucking phone. Okay? And it, it, it gives it more better, a different perspective. It's like, you know, you, you want to build something up from with bricks, standing foundation, something that's going to stand, Okay? Maybe titanium may be better. It doesn't matter. But whatever it is, as soon as you lay down that part and you put down that that cement to try to cover it up so something else can stick to it, someone adds something very mushy, like maybe a jello or something, uh, a pudding, something that's not going to stick. If you put another brick on top of it, it's going to squash it. You'll never, the foundation will never be secure. If you got stuff in the mix, in the mix of a, of a foundation you're trying to build in a beautiful way. Spirit's burning that down. And some faded meetings coming in here. Somebody thought they were being mysterious, being in and out of your life. They were not. They were teaching you how to live without they ass. That's what they were doing. They were just giving you a little bit of a lesson. So I know it might have hurt you separating from this person, my loves. But you were. Some of you are about to get some money. I don't know who this is for. For some of you. You're about to get some money. You're about to hit, the, you're about to hit it and it's going to get somebody nightmares. They're going to be partying and wait for you to come give them some money. Remember those four, four, four first cards that came out? Jackpot, nightmares, always partying and waiting. You gonna hit and get. You gonna hit up some money, and someone's gonna be having nightmares about you winning. And this is just gonna help you rise even more. Shit, some of you it might be the lottery. I don't know. Some of you might need to play numbers. That card might be out there for a reason. Always partying and waiting for you until you come back. I'm just gonna be over here chilling. The hell you not? You better go on with your life. Look, I just, sh I just shuffled again and rejection came right out. Somebody has love on their brain. They have, they have this, they have these roses on, you see this, these roses on her head coming out of her hair. And then we have rejection right there at the bottom of the deck. This person can't believe you're rejecting them. They think they're too legit to quit. They're too beautiful. Oh no, you, or handsome. Oh no, you can't leave me. 
No way. You're not going to go towards that. What? Come on. Ha ha ha. No. <laughs> um, to me, I feel like a lot of you are being talked about in good light. Good favor. Good light. Okay? People are kind of trying to understand why would this... Why would there be an issue here with this past person or karmic friends or whatever it is? Somebody's just very jealous of you and they're shattered and they, 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 they get lost and sad when you don't fight with them. So, man. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. Spirit, three more cards. Oh, you know what? Spirit, let's do this one. Close this out. They're about to get sleepy. I can tell you don't see them all out. They're like, they're getting in their spots for the night. They have so many places to hide in there, you guys. It's ridiculous. Okay. Spirit. What is this? Oh. One. Two. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so we have here for the first card, the healing must be completed before your life can transform. I think a lot of you are understanding that right there alone. It says the healing must be completed before your life can transform. It's a must. And I think you're doing just that. And your life is about to change for the better. I said what's coming in for the future. It said incoming, exciting news. And then that card, no, came out. Maybe some of you were like, the excited news is my ex getting the shit together. No, someone's clinging to you while you're at peace doing something else. They want to come in and sidetrack you. Remember? Look at this. Let me show you. Okay? No. Clinging. Shine. 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 Shine bright, shining star. Someone wants to reconcile. Okay? Act while you're at peace. Okay, while you're doing your own thing, you're peaceful, all right? You're celebrating yourself. You're having good times, and someone wants to come in and sidetrack. They want to sidetrack you, okay? You see that? Somebody on their phone while they're driving. I just don't know why they made that. that um, communication. They want to communicate. They want to talk about things. The Spirit's saying reconsider. Reconsider. I know you will be curious to open this up, but be very careful because someone's just going to bring some pain. They want to give you some heartbreak. And I don't think they mean to do it. I just think that inside their mind, they think, well, how the hell are you going to glow up? And I'm not with you. I'm going to piss you off. I'm going to come right in because I want to see everything you're doing. You're keeping plans to yourself here, Collective. And you're being ordered and guided to do that. I feel spirit saying that it's just because this person's alone right now. They're lonely. Every other place, they've, the, the well ran dry. Okay? And it was all happening for a blessing in the skies. You're going to figure that out soon enough. Remember, this doesn't resonate with everybody, but that's why it's saying healing must be completed before your life can transform. Then we have, you're stepping into your highest divine life path. The attention you're getting that you don't want, baby, get used to it. It's here. It's here for a reason. Because you know what to do with it. You're humble with it. You are humble, okay? Mm, mm, mm. I love that. You will break free from all that no longer serves you. You will break free from all that no longer serves you. That's been your messages, my love, for this late night reading, okay? All right. Thank you so much for viewing. If you guys did resonate at all with this message, go ahead and hit the like. And then go ahead and hit the subscribe. And then you're going to hit the notification bell. So that every time that I upload, you're going to get the message. You will know. YouTube will say, hey, my friend. Just small upload it. So, say watch for later. Okay, watch for later. I'll try to watch. You say, ah, oh, that's not resonating this time, but next time the next one might, you know. Never know, guys. But thanks so much for all the support and love. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful week ahead, okay. I know it's Monday night. Many people are not up. But for those that are, what's up, night owls? And thank you guys for dealing with all the noise in the background, all the, the, the water sound, okay. Yeah, I know, it's loud. <laughs> but I like it. Okay, guys, have a good night. Love you. Good night.